My Faith Votes helped change the outcome of the last election by uniting Christians to get out and cast their votes. Now we need your help to stay vigilant in the fight for our religious freedom. Visit onevote.myfaithvotes.org right now, and as a thank you for your donation, we will send you a free copy of founding honorary chairman Dr. Ben Carson's book, One Vote. This easy-to-read book will teach you the true power of the ballot. Help us activate Christians to get involved and make our voices heard. Do it today. So one of the things we see in the research was that there was a, a, a big anti-Clinton uh, mm -hmm. contingent in, in those who voted for Trump, in particular those evangelicals who voted for Trump. There was this really this sense that they, they didn't want to have Clinton. And so you know, out of eight different issues that we were asking about, um, six of those things were really about not wanting Clinton and concerns mm -hmm. about Clinton. Only two things among evangelicals were really drivers related to Donald Trump. Some of those were immigration related. Uh, when we asked evangelicals about some of the things that were uh, some of the biggest uh, reasons that they went, went ahead and voted for Trump or the biggest issues that, that, that affected them, Supreme Court at 44%, mm -hmm. that was easily the biggest issue right. that, that evangelicals voted for. So it wasn't so much about the who as it was the what they right. were trying to achieve. Um, whether, again, you agree with them or not. Mm -hmm. uh, immigration was second, and then abortion, interestingly enough, was third on the list of really? evangelical uh, motivations. Hmm. Uh, so, um, you know, th there was so much sense, and I said earlier, only 61% of evangelicals liked Trump, mm 